prepare for PTSD, Mal. I'm fixing to start talking calculus. <laughs> Post-traumatic stress syndrome. <laughs> I'll never forget the day you said you were through studying calculus. Like our last test was coming and you just closed your book and said, I'm done. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Abby. Good morning. Do you just hear me talking to my daughters? Yes, I thought you were talking to me for a second. <laughs> no. I taught Mallory, um, she was in my calculus class several years ago. And um, when she got to that last test, she just closed her book and said, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning. Good morning, Ivy. Ivy doesn't have audio on yet. <clears throat> Good morning, Miss Ivy. Good morning. All right. What about graphing parts? A through Z. Was that the nuttiest thing you've ever seen on one problem? That was cool. Ah, I knew you would say that. Um, on the handout, I well, I made these notes before I made my template for doing homework. And the reason I was, the reason I did this template for my examples is um, it was taking me all of class to do one problem, maybe not just this polynomial, but on some of the problems, doing the first and second derivative was taking so long that I was getting one done per class and that wasn't enough examples. Um, I told y'all somewhere, I don't know if it was email or remind, that if you wanted to, if you wanted the pages where I've done the work for the derivatives, like this, this work, I posted that in Momentum. Didn't I send you that? Tell you that somehow? Yeah, you posted it in Momentum. Yeah. Okay, so if you're thinking, where the heck did she get that? Then I've got the work in the, on those pages in Momentum. Good morning, Ms. McKenzie. Ms. McKenzie. All right, so um, I think I got four examples done on the first video and either three or four done on the second video and we have two days to cover this. Now, also remember that I'm not gonna be here um, tomorrow morning for Zoom, but you can email me anything that you need to and I'll look at it. Um, do you have any questions about the four examples I did on the video? And instead of redoing any work, we can talk about any part of that that you're confused about. Any confusion on number one? No. How about number 12? Number 12 is okay. About 16. 
first thing you needed to do on that is um, get a common denominator and add those so that you could say things like set the denominator equal to zero, set the numerator equal to zero. Any questions on that one? All right. I don't know if I had one or two more. Um, I think I went to 24 on the video. Any questions about 20? I have one. Where do you plug in to get the Y for relative maximum and minimum? Because I plug those values into everything and I wasn't seeming to get either of those numbers. Okay. Um, are you talking about on all problems or on this particular problem? This one in particular, but for future reference, all problems. Okay. All right. Um, remember, we're trying to graph F of X. We're not trying to graph F prime of X or F double prime of X. We're just trying to graph F of X. So once you find the critical numbers and you find out the X values that are either max or min, you substitute them into the original function to get the Y values because this is the function we're graphing, not this one. And you're saying you didn't get two and negative two and one third right there? Is that what you're saying? Sorry, repeat that. I had someone walk into my room. Oh, that's okay. Um, you're saying you didn't get this negative. Well, let's see. Which one are you saying you didn't get? Um, Particularly, it was the rel it was the extrema. For some reason, when I plugged in negative one anywhere, I was getting the negative two. But for the negative five, I wasn't getting six. Okay. Well, let's look at that real quickly. It's possible that I had a typo, and it's possibly you were substituting it in the wrong place. So if we put negative five into the original function, ooh, I know a common mistake. Whether you did um, this first term in your head or on the calculator, a common mistake is to say the opposite of negative five is positive five and positive five squared is 25. That would be a very common mistake, but the order of operation says apply this exponent before you multiply by negative one. So that's what it was. Was it? That's what it was. Okay. I okay. Got it. All right. Negative 25 plus 20 minus seven over negative two. Yep, watch out for that. That's, that's, I see that a lot. All right, um, any other questions on number 20? And number 24. All right, so no questions about the video at all, right? Mm -hmm. Give me seven rights. Right. Okay, I'll take one right. Um, what about, let me let Miss Grace in. Um, what about the homework problems? Just the day one, I think you might have had four problems. Did you run across any trouble with those? Uh, was that for me? No, that was for anybody. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> how are you doing, Miss Grace? Uh, pretty yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, me too. Um, the day one homework was 7, 11, 15, and 19. So does anybody have questions from those? All right. Um, the day two, oh, that day one video may not have gone as far as I thought. It stopped at number 20. The day tw two video has 24, 26, and 38 on it. And then you have these four problems for homework. These, um, I don't have the day three video made. And I'm thinking about not making it and just saying, hey, we're not going to worry about day three. It's more of the same. Maybe there's some weird functions that are in the first 30. I can't even remember what they are. But um, if you do these eight problems, 
then you understand what you can tell from the first derivative, what you can tell from the second derivative, how you find asymptotes and inter intercepts and domains and all those good things. Um, trying to think of anything else I need to tell you. Um, so I'm not gonna be here tomorrow, but if you do this day two homework, anytime this weekend, you can email me questions from it. Um, I'm not putting any more homework in my math lab. I haven't done it yet, but I'll go in and drop your two lowest scores, your two lowest homework scores, and then you can see your homework average and your course average with two tests and then the homework counting as test. Has anybody thought of any other questions um, about the class and how we'll finish up? Well, y'all are quiet this morning. Um, let me look at one other thing then. Test, your test three is Tuesday. So Monday, um, um, I do have a practice test. I think I probably mailed it to you. Um, and it was mostly from the chapter three review in the book. Chapter three and four in the book. So um, Monday, you can ask me questions about any of that. And then Tuesday, um, well, I'm sorry to say you'll probably have the easiest calculus test ever. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. All right, last call for questions. Okie doke, y'all have a good weekend. Um, email me if you need me and I'll see you Monday morning. See you Monday. Okie doke, bye-bye. Bye, Ms. Miles. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.